is that? It's a solar eclipse viewer! That's right! There's going to be a solar eclipse passing soon! Odie, do you want to find out how solar eclipses happen? A solar eclipse happens when the moon passes in front of the sun. The moon blocks the sun's light, creating a shadow on certain portions of the Earth. This is why a solar eclipse can only be viewed from certain locations on Earth. The shadow created by the moon during a solar eclipse can be broken down into three main parts. The umbra, the antumbra, and the penumbra. The umbra is the darkest central part of the moon's shadow. This is where the moon completely covers the sun, and we are able to see a total solar eclipse. During some eclipses, the moon is farther away from Earth. In these instances, the moon's umbral shadow is not long enough to reach Earth, and Earth is covered by the shadow that forms after the umbra, called the antumbra. The moon is in front of the sun, but does not completely cover it. And we are able to see some of the sun around the edges of the moon. This type of eclipse is called an annular eclipse. The penumbra is the outer area of the moon's shadow. In the areas where the penumbral shadow hits Earth, we are able to see a partial solar eclipse where only a portion of the moon covers the sun. Solar eclipses happen very rarely and only last for a few minutes. Looking directly at the sun can cause permanent eye damage and even blindness. Sunglasses are not strong enough to protect your eyes from viewing a solar eclipse. So it's important to use special glasses or to make your own solar eclipse viewer. Can you show us how you made your solar eclipse viewer? Here's what we need to make a solar eclipse viewer. A cardboard box. We got this one at the dollar store. But if you have a shoe box, that will work too. A marker and a ruler. An X-Acto knife. Some aluminum foil. A pin a piece of white paper, and some tape. Let's start by tracing a small square on one side of the box close to the top, about one inch across. Using the X-Acto knife, let's cut a small hole. Cover the hole with a small piece of foil. Using the pin, let's poke a hole in the middle of the foil. Let's tape the piece of white paper inside the box on the opposite side of the hole covered with foil. This is where the image of the sun will be projected. Now let's draw our viewing hole. It needs to be on the side of the box closer to the hole covered with foil. It should also be about one inch across. Let's cut the hole. Odie, our viewing box is all done. Let's go outside and see if it works. All right, Odie, let's test it out. Look! We can see the sun! It works! Great job, 
ストーリー。